Hey everybody, welcome back to the Overwatch Project. Hey, I've uh, been reading this book, I just started reading this book. Humans are not from Earth. A scientific ev evaluation of the evidence. But I only just started reading it. And um, when I ordered the book, I didn't realize it was going to be biblically sized. This is a big book. I think it's 600 pages plus. This is second edition, and if you get this book, make sure that you get the second edition because the author has painstakingly taken the time uh, to collect every, uh, thousands of comments from people that read his first version of this book. And uh, in order to um, address um, things that he may have not explained as well or criticisms of his theories that he, as he explained them in the first book, he addresses people's, uh, uh, the people that have made uh, comments that uh, try to argue that he's wrong about this, wrong about that. The um, book is big because uh, he has taken, uh, also listed a, a lot of source material. I think the last good section of this book, maybe that much of the book, there is all this, all this is source material. So, sort of like me, he's taken a lot of information from a whole bunch of different sources, and he has um, um, collected a theory that is based on the totality of the information. I find, uh, I'm only on chapter two, but I find the book absolutely fascinating so far. Uh, some of the chapters in here, the sun dazzles us. I, I have actually, uh, so far in chapter two uh, of the chapter, uh, let's see, where did I read up to? I read up to... Actually, I only got this far. Our responses to the environment. So I read from here to here. And um, half of this stuff, I, <laughs> I thought of myself. He's also been accused of stealing other people's work. He makes it clear in the second edition that he has come up with all this stuff. Uh, stuff himself. In fact, a lot of the viewers of my channel have come up with their own uh, version of the same thing I describe on their own. This is about when you look at the information totality, what's great is you people will see the same thing when they remove biases. Now this book is written by Ellis Silver, PhD, and um, yeah, so some of the chapters here the, are some of the parts in the book. The part right, right from the beginning. Why humans could not have evolved on Earth. The sun, our problems with the sun. Uh, our vitamin D problems. Our body hair issues. Uh, the weirdness of uh, certain things about our, the configuration of human body hair. Clothing. Matter of fact, I want to say this. I don't know if this is later in the book, but... You know, uh, one of the things atheists or uh, people that are materialists want to tell you is that there's no such thing as um, supernatural powers. But in fact, you know, as I was reading just the beginning of this book, I realized that that is ridiculous. The human being itself, the physical human being that we, uh, our consciousness occupies in this reality, is itself supernatural to earth. If you think about everything that humans do and what we're like, we are already supernatural to everything else here. Also, I laugh at these people that sort of worship the planet or want to become one with the planet. Our bodies, our physical existence here is not really compatible with earth. Uh, Earth is very hostile and dangerous to us. Nature kills us. And uh, while you're enjoying that beautiful sunset or a day at the beach, or it's happened here recently, where I, near where I live, a man walking back to his car in a parking lot from the beach was instantly killed when lightning bolt struck right through him. So nature will kill you in a, in a second. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm really um, going to make some more videos about this as I read through it, but I wanna, wanted to introduce people to this book in case you haven't heard it. And uh, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.